former Steinoff CEO Marcus Joester has died by suicide in Hermanus following a shocking turn of events yesterday. Or the financial sector conducted uh, authority, conduct authority fined Joester 475 million rand for knowingly sharing false information to deceive investors and lenders. Independent analyst Kaya Sitol expressed his surprise at Joester's death a day before he was scheduled to hand himself over to authorities. So I think obviously when we heard about the fine yesterday, it was a number that was jaw dropping for a lot of people. But when you actually read the FSCA's explanation of how they assessed the case and how they came to that number, even the 475 million rand turned out to be a fraction of his earnings from a four-year period at Steinhoff. So in the four-year period that they looked at, they said he actually earned 711 million rand in salaries, bonuses, and incentives. So the 475 million was a fraction of that. It's also very well known that the 475 million was never going to be the final number because there would have been a process of a tribunal which would then be allowed to look at other factors and if he decided to present his case there then they might have reached a different number we know that a couple of years ago they did uh, reduce its initial fine of 162 million down to 20 million rand so that was always going to be what was expected in relation to yesterday's ruling from the fsca but i think obviously the question of the npa and other prosecutions agencies moving in that was a parallel process altogether and that seems to have been central to the decision that he took today to end his own life